PancakeSwap, a decentralized exchange that anyone can use on Binance Smart Chain. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PancakeSwap just trading. We are just going to trade. This is the full basics on how to trade on PancakeSwap. We're not going to go over the pools and farming and earning passive income. That's going to be in another video. So look out for that on my channel. So we're going to go over what is PancakeSwap? Is PancakeSwap safe? How to connect your trust wallet to PancakeSwap? How to convert BNB to Binance Smart Chain? And how to trade on PancakeSwap? This is going to be the full beginner guide. So look forward to that and uh, stick around for the whole thing. Otherwise, here's some time codes. And while you're still here, please hit that like button. That helps this channel out and encourages me to make more videos. Okay, let's get started. Now let's start off with what is PancakeSwap? PancakeSwap is a decentralized exchange. A decentralized exchange means that you don't need a password, you don't need an email address to sign up, they don't take your personal information. If you want to start using their platform, their decentralized app, all you need to do is connect your crypto wallet. And one of the crypto wallets that you could use is either Trust Wallet or MetaMask. Both of these operate on the Binance Smart Chain, PancakeSwap, right now at the moment at least is exclusively for Binance Smart Chain so you can trade just about any token on Binance Smart Chain as long as you have the contract address. There are a lot of different swapping platforms available. Let's take a quick look on DAP Radar and you can see there are a lot of different uh, DeFi platforms but at the top of the list is PancakeSwap, at least for Binance Smart Chain, with $10.72 billion locked. And the best way to find out if you can trust a service is by looking at how much value is locked onto their platform. So I'm sure you've heard of Uniswap, Aave, and Curve. And in first place for Binance Smart Chain is PancakeSwap. Taking a look at their website, PancakeSwap.Finance, they have 2.6 million users in the last 30 days, 45 million trades, about $11 billion staked. Now, can you trust PancakeSwap? Yes, to an extent. Definitely uh, minimize your risk by using a wallet exclusively for PancakeSwap. You can create multiple wallets within Trust Wallet or MetaMask for free. You just have to manage all those accounts. And PancakeSwap hasn't been hacked but there's no telling that that might not happen in the future if someone discovers a vulnerability. Now that's the dangerous part of cryptocurrency. If there's a vulnerability that we don't know about now, that doesn't mean that there won't be one in the future where your funds could be lost or stolen. And those are just the warnings. And if you're comfortable moving forward, let's exchange on PancakeSwap. So here we are at the PancakeSwap website. We're gonna select connect wallet at the top right. It brings up several options. Trust Wallet, Wallet Connect, and MetaMask. Uh, Trust Wallet within the app has Wallet Connect, so that's pretty much the same thing. We can select more and we have eight options. My personal preference, Trust Wallet and MetaMask. For this video, we're gonna use Trust Wallet because I'm all set up on it and I have some farms running so you can see what that looks like. So we're gonna select Trust Wallet. We did select Trust Wallet, but MetaMask popped up. It's cool, we're gonna hit connect wallet. We're gonna select a wallet connect this time. Not a problem, and I'm going to be opening up the app on my phone. So this is the homepage of the wallet section and we're gonna select settings and wallet connect. That will bring up the camera and we can scan this QR code. Next, we'll get a prompt to connect to PancakeSwap and you should read the details so you understand what you're connecting to. PancakeSwap, a next evolution DeFi exchange on Binance Smart Chain, wants to connect to my wallet. It's going to view my wallet balance and activity, and it's going to request approval for transactions. Hit connect, and we're connected. So you can see my wallet is connected here, and that I can harvest from some of my farms that I've been running. And I'll make another video in greater detail on how to use these farms in DeFi so you can earn passive income. BNB is the fuel to run any type of transaction on Binance Smart Chain, so you're gonna need some BNB. My personal recommendation, if you wanna get BNB for Binance Smart Chain, Binance.com. If you are a US user, you're gonna to have to use Binance.us, but you're only going to be allowed to get BNB on Binance Chain. You'll have to do a conversion, and let me show you that, what that looks like. So in my wallet, we are currently connected 
to pancake swap we're gonna hit back and this one always confuses me do you want to disconnect this session i don't so i want to save and leave now if i select wallet connect again we're gonna see that i'm still connected so I'm gonna hit back, save and leave. It keeps my connection active. And we're gonna take a look at my wallet. You can see that I have BNB and Smart Chain. They're both BNB, but on different networks. So this is my standard BNB. Uh, I'm staking it on Trust Wallet to make more BNB for passive income. Let me know in the comments if you wanna learn how to do that. It's pretty easy. So we select the three dots at the right, and then we can swap our BNB to Smart Chain. And the BNB Smart Chain is the one with the black background. So if you want to swap your BNB to Binance Smart Chain, you're going to need the BNB logo with the black background. So I can convert 100% of what BNB I don't have staked. The balance it showed earlier is my entire balance and not my available to trade balance. So I have a 0.02 BNB available. And if I want to swap that to Binance Smart Chain, all I have to do is hit swap. And then it's going to bring up the fee. The network fee is $1.83, which is pretty reasonable. I'm switching from BEP2 to BEP20. This is the Binance network to Binance Smart Chain. Yeah, I know it sounds confusing. I get confused too. But if you're going to run on Binance Smart Chain, BEP20 is the one you want. And then we can hit confirm. Loading. And swap was successful. So I had 0.69 BNB, now it's 0.71. All right, so let's start trading. BNB is the native uh, currency that you can pretty much use on anything on Binance Smart Chain and all these other dApps. So BNB is pretty valuable and we can trade against anything. So by default, it's gonna show tokens that I have available. If we scroll further down, it's gonna have a list of some of the top coins available on Binance Smart Chain, but this is a short list. It's not gonna show you all the coins available. If uh, there's a coin you want to trade on PancakeSwap and they have the coin available on Binance Smart Chain, all you have to do is input the address. So for example here, we see that this is a very short list, but you can trade anything on Binance Smart Chain and I made my own token, Dance, only Dance, and I can import it and I can trade it. So. Uh, if you are going to trade on Binance Smart Chain, there is a warning that you should understand. Anyone can create a BEP20 token on BSC with any name, including certain fake versions of existing tokens that claim to represent projects that do not have a token. So you might see TikTok token, Facebook token, uh, Sony token, or you might even see other things like Doge or Bitcoin on Binance Smart Chain. Those uh, those are sketchy. Don't, don't, you don't want to trade those. A lot of them are scams and you have to be very careful. So I understand the risk. This is my token. Do not buy this token. This is just a token I made for fun. And maybe I'll give them away if I can figure out how to do that without me paying for that gas. But otherwise, this was used for a test and only dance is only for Dan <laughs> or other people named Dan. Maybe I'll hook you up with a token. So I'm going to import it. And now it shows dance in the other trading option and I could do a trade. So I could get 839 Dan tokens for 0.7 BNB. I don't want to do that. And the price impact is too high. It would change it by 92.5%. So let's go over all of this. I'm going to trade for BUSD. BUSD is a stable coin. It's linked to one US dollar. Since one BUSD equals one dollar, it also shows us that we get 0.0022348 BNB per BUSD. I know that sounds confusing and hard to calculate, but if you wanted to find out the value of that, just switch it. So we're gonna hit this down arrow, it's gonna swap it, and now we see the BUSD value per BNB, 452 bucks. Now that makes a lot more sense and it's easier to uh, comprehend. Now with PancakeSwap, you can buy any amount. You can buy a dollar, you could buy a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, there aren't any minimums. But depending on how much you buy and how much liquidity is available in that trading pair, there could be some uh, price impact differences. 
So you saw with Dan's, the price impact was very high. There is a lot of liquidity for BUSD and BNB in this trading pair. So the price impact is practically zero. And the minimum received, so the minimum received just explains how much you're gonna get at a minimum in case the price uh, moves while you're uh, trying to do this trade and the liquidity provider fee. That's how much I'm going to be paying for this fee. Now, if we hover over this question mark, it's gonna show that for each trade, we're paying a fee of 0.25%. That is uh, kinda high, it's kinda high, and it's not something you should be trying to day trade against. Now, if you compare this to Binance and KuCoin, they trade at 0.1%, so you would be paying two and a half times higher in fees to trade. But the usefulness about PancakeSwap is you don't need an account, anyone can trade any token that's on Binance Smart Chain, and after you make a trade, that coin is automatically in your wallet, so you would be avoiding those withdrawal fees. A little more on the details, 0.17% goes to liquidity provider token holders, 0.03% to the pancake swap treasury, and 0.05% towards cake buyback and burn. So the cake token is inflationary and they use some of the fees to buy back and burn those tokens. A little bit more on the trading uh, up here on this uh, little cogwheel, we can change the settings. Now we have standard, fast, and instant. This is if you want your trade to run really fast, but Binance Smart Chain, it's pretty fast. Maybe five seconds the transaction would be complete. Uh, I just keep it to standard. You don't really have to do anything. By default, it's gonna be on standard the slippage tolerance, how much will the price move during your trade. So up to 0.5% is the default option. Transaction deadline, expert mode, flippy sounds. I actually don't like the flippy sounds. So, oh, you don't see that, hang on. Uh, there we go. Yeah, flippy sounds on, flippy sounds off. I prefer them off. And those are the settings. So this other thing here is your recent transaction history. I don't have any recent transactions. But for this video, we're gonna have a new transaction. We're gonna trade some BNB for some BUSD. Let's do it that way. I'm gonna trade 0.1 BNB for BUSD. That should get me about 45 BUS dollars, and I'm gonna hit swap. Now we're jumping back into my phone, and now I'm going to make a swap. So confirm swap. And then if we go to Wallet Connect and we see that we're still connected to PancakeSwap, we are going to get a uh, notification. Here we go, smart contract call. Error, failed to connect, that happens. No problem, we are going to restart our connection and this happens from time to time. So I'm gonna hit OK, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna disconnect this session and then I'm going to connect wallet, go to wallet, connect again, rescan. Uh, this is gonna happen from time to time, so be aware if there is an issue, restart the process. I'm kind of glad it happened in this video so you can see it happen in real time. Select connect, and we're back in it. So we are gonna trade 0.1 BNB for some BUSD, and uh, the rate is still pretty good. Gonna hit swap, gonna confirm the swap, and now I should get a notification in the phone, smart contract call, and it shows the cost of our trade. It's gonna be a network fee of 32 cents and what the total is. So that's the total uh, including the fee and the exchange rate. It doesn't show those exact details, but we know what we're trading within the platform. I'm okay with that, so hit approve. And back on the website, transaction submitted, close, and we should have a little bit of BUSD being added here. There's our transaction receipt, and the uh, that was S updated. That was updated in real time. Happened in about five seconds. So that is how you trade using PancakeSwap. And that's how you trade on PancakeSwap, a decentralized exchange with fees at 0.25%. The fees are a little high, and there all are a lot of coins you can trade. You can trade any coin on Binance Smart Chain but it doesn't really have all the tools that I need as someone who trades a little more professionally, like limit orders, stop losses, 
and just being able to see all the charts. And as you advance as a trader, you might want those tools. And that fee of 0.25% is pretty high. If you are new to crypto, I highly recommend sticking to a centralized exchange because you can recover your account and they don't have as many sketchy coins on there. Like you won't be stuck buying a bunch of uh, pump and dump coins. That doesn't happen on big exchanges, but that happens a lot on PancakeSwap. People are shilling absolute garbage on PancakeSwap all the time, but uh, that's the world. And uh, there is a lot of great coins you can invest in that have great tech that are building things that people will use uh, rather than hype and community driven tokens. But that is just my personal opinion. When investing in crypto, I like to see something with utility, a use case that people will potentially use. Now, if this video has been helpful, please hit that like button. That helps me out. And I hope you got your full value for today.